Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies. Now here on day 111 of our broadcast. And Watching Chickies is the daily live stream here on Reddit and then later YouTube about the lives and development of these three young chickens. Right before you in gray, you can see our little rooster named Stormy, just strutting his stuff, looking about, having a bit of a snack and a scratch. Then over here in black, we have our Ayam Samani hen named Braveheart, who's just eating a little bit there. And then here in brown and gold is our Onagadori named Kagome. And the Onagadori is an endangered Japanese breed of chicken that is well known for its lovely long tail feathers. Kagome's tail feathers at this point are about a foot long, but when she's fully grown, um, after a few years, they might get to be over 20 feet in length. I believe the longest on record was over 36 feet in length. And hello there, Banalis, and hello there, CZMG. Lovely to see you both here. And on this show, we just kind of watch the chickens day by day as they grow a little bit more, as they kind of just express themselves, they play around, they have a lot of nice little things to eat, and we can just have a relaxing time just kind of chatting and watching our little chickies. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. There we go, there we go. And Grey Hat, yes, our little Stormy is a silky chicken. And you know, he is quite a lovely looking fella there. Uh, silky chickens are covered in these fur-like feathers their whole lives. So even though um, he might look a bit younger than the other chickens, he's actually the same age as everyone. Oh, there we go. And Vanellis, I hope you're having a nice time cooking. And Julia, um, right here in black, is our Ayam Samani hen named Braveheart. In brown and gold, we have our Onagadori hen. And over there, just stuffing his little beak, is our little man, Stormy, who is a silky chicken. And February Monster, good morning to you. Lovely to see you here on the stream. Oh, and that's a nice view of your tail feathers there, Kagome. She's actually kind of fanning them out a bit right now. Oh, that looks lovely. Hello there, Miss Kagome. And you can just see Kagome doing a bit of her daily preening. You can see this activity often with chickens, as they just try to keep themselves clean. It satisfies any sort of little itch that they might have. They can get rid of um, just dried skin. They can spread around natural oils around their feathers to make them a bit more water resistant and a bit more resplendent. And, you know, it's a nice way of just keeping themselves looking nice. And Julia, yes, they do go outside each and every day to their outdoor coop. Um, we bring them inside to their play area for the streams. And then we also bring them in here at night to nest. Um, we have a bunch of local predators in our area that are surprisingly good at times at getting into predator resistant coops. We've had some friends that have run into some issues in that arena, usually from some of our larger raccoons. So we feel it's kind of safer having them inside, especially seeing as none of these chickens are fully grown yet. Um, we are a few months away from them producing their first eggs. And then, a bit later, potentially, their first little chicks of their own. We have been hand-raising these chickens since day one. We pick them all up uh, each and every day. We give them lots of little pets. And as a result, they are all pretty mellow little chickens here. 
Oh, and Jonathan Roddy, well, we don't play uh, musical requests here, unfortunately. I don't really have the uh, musical talent for that. The uh, best that I ever do is sing the chickens a little bit of a wake-up song each morning. I think our little Stormy ended up crowing a few times again as he practices out his sort of big boy voice. He's getting to be a bit bigger each day. We saw that really big jump in his growth last night. Though part of that might be because I think Lauren weighed him a few hours later than I usually do. Um, I was on set during that time, so unfortunately I couldn't do that. And, uh, oh, and you're right there, Julia. There is a xylophone. The chickens aren't quite sure of that xylophone. That was quite the little look they gave me. What was Dad doing? And Grey Hat, yes, um, our little Stormy, generally speaking, is a pretty nice little chicken. Um, he can be quite content just um, sitting on my lap sometimes. Though these days, as the male hormones have really hit him, he's decided to take his role as the protector of the girls a lot more seriously. He likes to just kind of parade around with his little rooster strut. Um, he has actually even attempted to uh, do a little bit of sort of mating activity with Braveheart that I've seen. So the hormones are really kicking in. Um, though despite everything that he's been doing, he is our smallest chicken. So the girls really aren't paying him much of any mind. If he attempts anything like the little peckings, if he attempts to try to start the mating activity, the girls are just kind of shutting him down straight away. Um, and then a lot of the times he just kind of reverts to trying to be like an egg. He tries to go underneath the girls and just snuggle up that way. And magic that is black, thank you for the rocket like there. Much appreciated. And you know what, guys? I think we're going to do our daily weigh-in. And our daily weigh-in is just a way to check in with the chickies to see how they're growing. Um, these guys are 111 days old today. And they're not fully grown yet. So sudden weight drops can be their way of telling us that either they're feeling stressed, they might be feeling a little bit sick, or they might even be a little bit in injured. So it's sort of our barometer, um, an early warning system, to tell us if something might be wrong. So let's keep track of them today. And yes, there's plenty of awkwardness when it comes to these little chickens, especially because, you know, they are in their teenage phase now. And I realize that I have left my stand upstairs. So you know what, guys? I am going to put the phone down somewhere where it can stand. And then I will be back shortly with my phone stand so we can try and do today's weigh-in. Oh, I know, Kagabe. I know. Let me try to put... Let's see. Can I balance this out without the stand? Or is this going to just fall straight away? Oh, well, it's staying in place. So guys, I will be back very soon. And hello there, Sushi de Carne. I'll be back with my actual stand in just a second. back. Hopefully the chickies were playing nice while I was upstairs. Here is a real stand to keep everything stable. 
They looked so confused when I was gone. Oh my, oh my, oh dear. Well, chickies, I am back, and it is time for the weigh-in. Yeah. And then you get your treat today of some poppy corn. Yeah. Oh, kagome. There you go, little one. Oh, listen to that lovely voice of yours, kagome. Listen to that lovely voice. And, uh-huh, I think the... We might get a discrepancy today because Lauren weighed you at the end of the day and we are weighing you in the beginning because Kagome's weight is 796, which is about four grams down. But considering that there was a time discrepancy, we'll just note that. And I think you are fine. Come here, my little one. And you always do just kind of like to try to fly away. All right then, all right. Come here, my little Stormy. My big little boy. Oh my, oh my. Oh. You're on the plate, don't worry. There you go. Oh. Oh, little Stormy. Listen to his voice. He's gotten such a deep little cluck now. Oh my, oh my, my little Stormy. Okay, okay, we're gonna try again, all right? You have sat down on this every single day. There you go, there you go, my little man. I'm gonna need you to move just a step there because it's hard to see in between all of your fuzzy little feet bits there. All right. And we got another little drop for Stormy, but again, that's because of the time discrepancy in weighing them. So we will see tomorrow what their proper weight should be. There we go. All right, let's go for our little Braveheart next. There we go, Stormy, there we go. Braveheart says, hello. All right, Braveheart, you're gonna send me on a run today, aren't you? Or not, maybe you'll be nice and calm. Here you go, lovely, here you go. Oh, and listen to Kagome being a rebel rouser. There we go. Oh, such a good brave heart. Lovely, lovely. And Braveheart had a slight dip as well, but that is because of the time discrepancy. So that is about as I predicted. They all went down by about like five or six grams, but that's because they were weighed at night versus midday like they usually are weighed. There we go. And Stormy is a little, little rooster. And today we got some little poppy corn for them. They definitely did enjoy the popcorn before. So let's see. Ooh, Braveheart sees it. I know, it's treaty time, it's treat time. Let's see if I could just give a little bit to Braveheart right here. Ooh, she got her piece. There you go. Oh, Kagome saying, where is my piece? Let's see if little Stormy sees his piece. <gasps> there you go, Stormy. There you go. Oh my, you gobbled that all up. And let me just throw a few pieces on the floor like that. Oh, Kagome went for hers. She just kind of shouted out, that's mine. That's mine there. Oh, lovely. Oh my, you guys are enjoying that popcorn. Oh dear. Well, that's a hit with you guys. Night at the movies with the chickens. Oh dear, oh dear. I mean, 
nice little conversation about that. Yeah? Oh, popcorn seems to be a hit with the chickens. Lovely, lovely. And it's always great to see them enjoy a treat, to enjoy something new. Ooh, that was fast there, Stormy. And the, uh, the silky chicken is spelled S-I-L-K-I-E. They were um, actually uh, first bred about 2,000 years ago in China. And Marco Polo actually wrote about them in his journals. He claimed they had the best tasting eggs in the world. Oh, and hello, little ones. Kagome is enjoying her popcorn experience, and so is Braveheart and our little Stormy. And Kagome is like a little phoenix. Marco Polo, a famous European explorer who went to China, and he is credited for basically bringing pasta back to Italy, which led to the invention, I guess, of like dishes like spaghetti. Oh, there we go. Oh my, and February Monster says, who may not have existed. No, we do have his journals, I think. I'm not, so, you know, who knows? Maybe there was some exaggeration about his travels. <gasps> What's that? What's that, Stormy? That was a deep, deep little cluck from you. Not your usual high affair. Oh, there you go. Oh, and that's interesting, February Monster. It may be an, an, an amalgam of traveler's experiences as presented as one man's story. There we go, little chickens. There we go. They are enjoying their little popcorn adventure, and I am enjoying just watching them like... There we go, little chickies. Some more poppy corn bits for you to have. Yes, sir. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, you're looking for more pieces? Well, there's more little popcorn pieces all about you, chickies. Yeah. You enjoying it, Braveheart? Ooh, gazoom tight. Gazoom tight. Ooh, close up on Braveheart there. Are the pieces too big for you there? Oh, you're looking for that piece there. Would you like it better when it comes from Dad's hand? Oh my, you do, you do. That was two pieces in quick succession. There you go, Braveheart. Whoop, that kind of went all over the place for you. There you go. My sweet girl. Here, Braveheart, you really do seem to enjoy just eating it right out of my hand. Oh, oh wow. You take the giant pieces there, and you just eat them straight away, Stormy. How are you doing that? Oh, my. That was incredible there, Stormy. The girls are having trouble with some of the bigger pieces, but you're just eating them whole. No swallowing for our little Stormy. You just, well, no biting. I guess you just swallow the entire thing whole. Oh, dear. Oh, wow. Stormy, you don't leave anything for the girls. And Braveheart is kind of like a big raven. She has all of these lovely black feathers. And she's quite sweet as well. Oh, 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 Stormy. So quick. I do enjoy that pop. Wow. Stormy, that's not that. That was meant for everyone. And I think Kagome was kind of talking to you about that. 
Oh my, well, no, don't worry, I got another handful for you. Let's see how long this lasts in the face of- oh my, it's stormy. I don't know if you're supposed to eat giant pieces of a- Stormy, wow. I was expecting to see you really just crunch some of those pieces apart, not to eat all of them whole. There you go. Well, some of them did slip out there. 